is in a unique way to get him that ball. I think we've seen that throughout the whole year and the success that he's had, that they're you know definitely trying to target him and, and get the ball in his hands just because of the playmaker he is and, and the big play ability that he's had that he has. So he'll definitely be interesting to, to uh, go up against Charlie. You looking forward to this matchup? Oh uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. To it. I think I, I'm looking forward to any matchup. You know, it's just another game. Uh, on our schedule, uh, every game is important. You know, this is just another one on the on the way, uh, on our on our schedule on the way down the road. So, you know, I think you know, just going into this game with, with the utmost importance, like I do any other game, is is going you know put the position in the seat. Do you have a chance to get a big hit on him? What's happening? No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. That's, is that a yes? Yes. Yeah. I'm de I'll definitely try to put him down. Though. For sure. For sure. A little love tap. A lot of trash talk this week, maybe, too, out there? You know, maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little bit of smack talk, especially between me and T. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, me and T came in together. and we are, Even in practice, we used to talk smack, so I'll definitely be uh, talking smack to T for sure. There aren't too many places that are still grass. Does mm -hmm. that affect I mean, what's no, it like playing? Oh, yeah, it's, de it's definitely a different feel. I think, you know, just your footing and, and how you break and how you move around is definitely completely different. Like, kind of, you know, the way this feels and the way, you know, you have to move around on turf is, I mean, the way on grass is, is completely different. You know, you probably have to wear a different set of cleats. You know, you got to bring out your seven studs just in case the, the grass might be a little bit slippery or, you know, anything that, that, you know, comes around. So, you know, you just have to, you know, be fully prepared, uh, you know, because, you know, on my breaks, you know, I won't be able to break as clean as I would on grass. I have to make sure my foot is just a little bit more solid so I don't f f kick up dirt with, with my uh, with, with my breaks and everything. So just to make sure I'm solid on, on my footwork and everything is basically kind of the big difference. Just make sure I'm not sliding around because the breaks aren't going to be as easy on, on grass as they are on turf. They have... They've had success against you guys defensively, and mm -hmm. like like a lot of teams have not. They've mm -hmm. had some big plays. Um, what what's been their secret to success against you guys, and what can you do to counter it? I think you know just just game plan. I think they they do a wonderful job in, in preparing for us, and I think you know they they brought they bring in wrinkles and, and ways to to counter the type of defense that we had. And I think they've had success doing that. I think, I think just calling plays at the right time is what is things that they've been able to to have success against us. You know, it's not really. You know, they're not, I don't want to say they're completely dominating us the entire game, but it's those five, six plays that they have that create those big play moments. I think last year uh, with David Bell, when he caught the shallow route underneath and we were in a certain coverage, and it was a perfect call for what we were in, and it ended up breaking for like 60 yards. So I think, you know, just making sure that, you know, we're always on top of our game and, and limiting those big plays that they, that they have, especially, you know, getting their receivers down the field and, and making sure that we're stopping the run. Um, because you know, you know, everything stops with, stop, starts up front with a run and just stopping that. So make sure that uh, us DBs are sound on our pass reads and our pass responsibilities. I think that's what's going to be the key to this game for sure. You happy you don't have to see David Bell? Yeah, a little bit, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have kind of preached all year about you know hit, you hit some bumps in the road, but you're not giving up. Mm -hmm. you're a close team. Last week, a little bit of validation that hey, we're, we're in this to fight till the end. We're not just packing the season in. Yeah, I mean, we we in each and every week we always go into that mentality. I think we never go into a week thinking, you know, thinking the worst or thinking some some level. I think, you know, we've been in every single game. I think we've had an opportunity to, to win every game a game that we've had on. Just been those couple of players that just pulled pulled pull, pulled us away from it. Uh, just took the momentum away from us. So I think, you know, in every game that we've been in, I think, you know, just a couple of players going our way. I think this season, I think our season is, is going to, is looking completely different than what, than what it is now. So I think, you know, our team has the utmost confidence in, in what we can do each and every week, offense, special teams, defense. We have confidence that we can, uh, you know, accomplish and get things, get the game going and, and get things done on, on all ends of the front. Different energy.